So recently, I got the opportunity to speak at the USSA Space Coast Stadium for the Elite World Series and then the Select 30 for the 9 through 12 year olds and then again 13 and 14 year olds and my favorite, the All-American Games. And I got to speak to thousands of players and their parents and it was really a great experience for me. Um, but also I could see it was a great experience for these young players being some of the top players in the country. And let me tell you, the new stadium and facility complex in Vieira, Florida is amazing. So if you haven't seen it yet, you got to check it out. It's super, super nice. But what I talked about in some of those uh, speeches that I gave to these young players and their parents was how to manage the pressure that you feel during games and use that pressure, that energy, because that's what it is, use that energy and turn it into good energy. Because I don't know about you, but when I was uh, in games, sometimes I would feel like there's a thousand eyeballs on me and it felt very, very heavy. Like I felt all the weight of those eyeballs and the situation on top of me and I felt that heaviness and it was hard to play that way. It's the pressure, right? That's what pressure is. That energy that's kind of weighing you down. You feel weighed down, right? So I would feel that and it happened my whole career up until I was in college at Auburn University and I remember being in a game fielding a ground ball and turning the throw to first base and I tightened up because I felt all that pressure and I didn't want to throw it away. And this wasn't even in a big situation, like it wasn't a tie game or a close game or anything like that. In fact, I don't think it was a big deal at all, but I still felt that pressure. I always put that pressure on myself and I didn't know how to handle it. So I fielded that ground ball, I went to turn and I felt all that pressure instantly in my body. And I went to throw it and I air mailed that sucker all the way into the stadium. It didn't even come close to the first baseman because I was so tight, you know? And I remember the next day we were doing pitcher's fielding practice and I was always at the end of the line for pitching fielding practice because I wanted to you know, kind of hide back there. I didn't want to have the opportunity to mess up more than I needed to because I felt that pressure in practice as well. So I was always hiding, but I remembered that day in the game, I never wanted to feel that way again. And I made a decision that that next day in practice, I'm going to the front of the line and I'm never, ever, ever gonna let that feeling come to my body again. And that was the hard part, making the decision, right? Once I made that decision though, then became, began the learning process of how to, because it wasn't instant, you know, it wasn't like, okay, I never want to feel that again. And then I was fixed. I wish it was that easy. I wish I could tell you it was that easy to do, but it's not. But that began the learning process of how to take that energy and turn it into good energy. So here's a few things that I learned along the way. Uh, and I want to share it with you. And, and I hope that you guys like this one. So, like I said, the next day, the first day after I practiced, I was the first guy in line. And from then on, I made the decision that I'm always going to be first in line and that I want more opportunity to learn how to get rid of this energy. So that's what I did. From then on, everything that I did, I told myself that I had to do with full confidence and full conviction. We all know what confidence is. That's believing in ourselves, right? Sounds easy enough. Conviction is just total belief in your mind and in your heart that you're gonna do something. As a pitcher, I was a pitcher, there were times when I would go to pitch that ball and I would, the catcher would call, you know, whatever, fastball inside. And I would go, oh shoot, I hope I don't hit this guy. You know, that would be my thought process. That's not having full conviction. But from that day on, when the catcher gave me fastball inside, I said, all right, here you go. If it hits you, my bad dog, but I'm throwing as fast as I can inside. Better get out of the way if it's coming at you. And I would just let it rip. And I tell you what, when you start to play like that and you start to feel the difference in what you're telling yourself, because that's step one too, is positive talk. The way you talk to yourself. Telling yourself, I'm gonna be number one in line. Telling yourself, when you throw that fastball inside, I don't care. If it hits them, it hits them. Obviously you care, caring is important. Because if we didn't care, then we wouldn't be playing a competitive game. So caring is important, don't get me wrong. But not caring for the small things like hitting a guy on accident those are the things that you gotta let go and go with full conviction. So doing everything with full confidence and full conviction was the first thing after deciding to not have that feeling in my body again. The next thing was, and I learned this from a sports psychologist, Dr. Tom Hansen. In fact, I did a great interview with Dr. Tom. Um, I'll leave a link down below to that video or uh, you know, up here, it'll pop up somewhere. Um, but he taught me, and he's got a, actually a great book out too, it's called Play Big. Uh, I'll leave a link down below where you can get that book. 
but um, it talks about the ABCs of baseball, and it's to act big, breathe big, and commit big. So acting big is just acting big. Like so, remember I was saying the weight of the the the, the pressure, like feeling all those eyeballs in the situation, kind of weighed you down. You could feel that weight. You got you got heavier. You got tighter, right? Now that's shrinking. That's not acting big. That's acting small. Acting big is the opposite. Standing tall, sticking your chest out, sticking your chin up, walking around like you're the man, right? That's a little bit different, right? Which one looks like a better baseball player? More confident baseball player, this guy or this guy, right? There's a big difference. You're giving off different vibes, right? So acting big is important. In fact, when you act big, you trick your body into believing that you are big, that you're the man, that you have that confidence. So you can actually start, even if you don't feel big, just by acting big, right? So that's A. B is breathe big. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was in those situations with the pressure on me, I would feel like real out of breath, like real short, deep breath, or short, narrow breaths, like, and felt like the game was going a thousand miles an hour, right? So how do we slow that down? I'm sure you heard the term before, slow the game down. You have to breathe big, as Dr. Tom says, breathe big. All the way into the belly, right? I'm sure you guys see when major league players get into the batter's box, they step in, and you'll see a lot of them, they breathe, breathe out before they get in. Whether they know they're doing it or not, that's what they're doing. They're trying to slow the game down. They're, the breath helps them. It calms them down. It takes some of that nervous energy and kind of dissipates it and lets them use it as good energy. So that's breathing big. So act big, breathe big, and now C is commit big. So committing big is just going with full confidence and full conviction, like I said before. If you're going to throw that fastball inside, throw it. Commit to it. Believe in it, right? If you're going to swing at a pitch, go for it. Hack at it. Even if it starts going out of the zone, don't give it a little half swing. Go for it. Commit to it. Commit in everything you do. Don't play not to fail. Play to succeed. Does that make sense? Let me say that again. Don't play not to fail. Play to have success. That's a big difference. Those two things are such a huge difference. So don't play not to fail. Play to have success. I hope that makes sense, guys. Uh, I hope you like that one. I talked a little bit more in these speeches, gave some more tips and stuff, but it was a special occasion for those guys. So I don't want to give the whole speech out to you guys um, because, again, that is something special for those guys who made it to the uh, Elite World Series at USSA, the Select 30 program, as well as the All-American Games. So um, I had a great time out there. Thank you so much to all the guys that I have saw out there and, and met some of you new guys that I met out there. Uh, I appreciate it. And I hope to see some of you guys again. But in the meantime, let's talk down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's up. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know if you feel the same when you're in the game, you ever felt that pressure, and what you do to channel your energy and make it good energy so you can have success on the baseball field. Drop your comment down below, and I'll talk to you there. Don't forget to subscribe, click the logo, then you can check out some of these videos over here. Talk to you later.